We have strict policies in place. If anyone in this theater commits an act of violence at any point during the show, you will be awarded the Oscar for Best Actor. If anything unpredictable or violent happens during the ceremony, just do what you did last year. Nothing. As the youngest Nobel Prize winner in history, I was wondering, do you think Harry Styles spit on Chris Pine? I only talk about peace. Smoke, y'all know what happened to me. Getting smacked by Suge Smith. Everybody knows. Everybody fucking knows. Yes, it happened. I got smacked like a year ago. Fucking last week, I got smacked in the fucking Oscars by this mother. And people like, did it hurt? It still hurts. By the time you're watching this, the 2023 Oscars have come and gone. And for many who watched it, they enjoyed seeing many great people get awards that they deserved. Not the least of which was the cast and crew of Everything Everywhere All at Once. The movie swept the Oscars with their nominations, including getting Best Actress, Best Supporting Actor, and of course, Best Picture. However, while many were focused on the present, many were still thinking about the past, specifically the 2022 Oscars event that featured Will Smith slapping Chris Rock. It would have been awkward for no one to address it, so Jimmy Kimmel did just that. We'll break it down for you. But before we do that, go ahead and do us a favor by leaving a like on the video, subscribing to the channel, and hitting the bell icon so you never miss an upload from us. And with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Do you want to win an iPhone 12? Maybe a MacBook Pro? How about $500 cash? All you have to do is comment the secret hidden message somewhere in this video. That's it. Oh, and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so we can keep affording these giveaways. Winner will be announced at the last day of each month. Thanks for watching and good luck. The reactions. There were tons of reactions from people once the comedy special aired. And people are like, well, you guys are fighting all the time. We're not fighting. First of all, I know you can't tell on camera, Will Smith is significantly bigger than me. But the one that most people point to is the reported reaction via a source from Will Smith. Smith allegedly was embarrassed by what was said about him and Jada, and it didn't end there. Will apologized to Chris and would like for Chris to let it go. The source added, Will has worked on himself and he's banned by the Oscars for 10 years. He feels like that's enough and wants Chris to move on so that he and everyone else can too. Will is also upset that Netflix was a part of this. I did not have and then for people that don't know what everybody know, Will and his wife was fucking her son's friend, okay? Now, I normally would not talk about this shit. And thinks Chris insulting Jada again is below the belt. He's upset that Netflix gave Chris this platform to share these messages and thinks it's distasteful. Though the fresh Prince of Bel-Air actor still has a lot to say, since he felt terrible for so long about smacking Chris at the Oscars, he's tried unsuccessfully to make amends in the best way he could with Chris. Because everybody knows what the fuck happened. Everybody that really knows, knows I had nothing to do with that shit. I didn't have any entanglements. Other celebrities weighed in on the special, and their responses varied wildly. For example, those who were on the side of Chris Rock and his special included August Alsina. August watched the Netflix special and he laughed, a source told The Post. He thought it was not only funny, but truthful. That was the best part for him. A lot of people spoke out against Alsina. But for some reason, these niggas put that shit on the internet. I have no idea why two talented people would do something that fucking low down what the fuck the source said so he was happy to see that chris rock seemed to be advocating for the truth and not just making a joke another person who was on chris rock's side was marlon waynes who felt that the special was rock's way of healing it was good to hear him speak about it you could tell it was passionate wayne said what you heard was somebody that was hurt somebody that was finding their way to heal in that moment whether you believe that statement or not will depend on whose side you stand on with a year now being passed since everything went down it's possible that between this comedy special and the Oscars mention, that things will finally die down. But then again, maybe they won't. It's hard to say given all who's involved. Jimmy Kimmel at the Oscars So let's get right to the Oscars, shall we? As noted, it was a big event for some, and Jimmy Kimmel had to make it go smoothly this time around, or he might not be hosting it anymore. Thankfully, he seemed to do a good job. Jimmy Kimmel addressed last year's Oscar slap during his opening monologue, and he did it just like most everyone thought he would, with a joke and a jab, 
and a warning. Three-time host was back Sunday to take on MC duties, and his remarks at the top of the show did not dodge the elephant in the room. It took a while for JK to get to the slap, sprinkling in shots at a lot of other stars beforehand, but when he did, he went in like you expected him to. Jimmy made fun of showrunners from 2022, saying they had a crisis team in place tonight, but noted that if anything did happen, he expected them to do what they did last year, absolutely nothing. He even joked that if anyone did assault someone else this time, they'd be awarded Best Actor, given a stage for a speech and a hug to boot. He also made sure to mention that they want people to feel safe, then roping in a ton of stars into possible protection he might have to activate if anyone tried going after him for a joke they didn't like. He name-dropped Michelle Yeoh, Michael B. Jordan, Andrew Garfield, Pedro Pascal, Steven Spielberg, and others, as people any would-be assailant would have to get through if they want to rumble on stage. A little earlier in the monologue, Kimmel appeared to again reference the slap while talking about all the Irish actors nominated this year, with him joking there could be another fight. Thankfully for all involved and all those at home, there was no fighting of any kind at the Oscars this year. There may have been fights at viewers' homes depending on how they viewed the winners, but that's not the Oscars' problem. Yeah. No matter what, it's not hard to see why this was so much on their minds. Including how just a week previous, Chris Rock dropped a comedy special on Netflix where he finally opened up about the incident, and then that special was... Edited. Netflix edited a joke Chris Rock made about Will Smith from his selective outrage comedy special after Rock confused two of Smith's movies. The special, which aired on March 4th, marked the streaming service's first live global streaming event, allowing viewers to see every joke and blunder. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Rock messed up a joke about a conversation he had with Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith about the Oscars in 2016. Years ago, his wife said I should quit the Oscars. I shouldn't host, because her man didn't get nominated for Emancipation the biggest piece of shit ever, Rock told a live audience in Baltimore, Maryland, where the special was filmed. No, not Emancipation, I fucked up the joke. The quip was intended to be a reference to Smith's 2015 biopic, Concussion, in which he starred as Dr. Bennett Omalu, a scientist researching chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or CTE, in professional football players. Rock continued on after the mistake and delivered the joke accurately. In the streaming version of Rock's special, currently available on Netflix, he correctly names Concussion, as the film Pinkett Smith was referring to. The special is also tagged with a disclaimer that says the show was streamed live and edited. Rock was aware of the edits and even helped Netflix with it so that it would feel smooth, so it wasn't that harmful, unlike many of the reactions to the special. And there you have it, everyone. A look at the Oscars, the Will Smith-Chris Rock scenario that continues to grow and more. Did you enjoy the Oscars and the references to the Smith-Rock incident? Are you surprised that people are still reacting to Rock's comedy special on Netflix? What do you think will happen next with this feud? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the channel.